Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another night of live home shopping cringe binge. I am your host, Steve. Please stand by for a few minutes while I send the link for this stream out to several platforms in an effort to draw people over here. I'm a small channel. It has to be done. And in the meantime, I'll play a song. It'll give you a chance if you're already here to grab a snack, take a leak, roll a J, do whatever it is you got to do to get yourself situated and prepared for the next couple of hours of nonsense. If you're watching this later, feel free to skip ahead a few minutes to skip the song. It's Sebado, Sacred Attention. it nicely time just play it just play it unpause oh my god ah god uh ladies and gentlemen bingo You think I don't have lungs? <laughs> All right. Different intro today. You need this? I think you're all fucked in the head. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all you need. Bong hit lungs. Uh, thank you, Melanie, for pointing out my 
Not my debut album. Uh, that was actually my follow-up. Uh, second album came out in 94. Uh, bong hit, lungs. Uh, Should have gone platinum. I don't know what happened. Uh, I, I blame the producer. Uh, safe to unmute. First of all, Danny, there's nothing safe about uh, this channel. That's a risk you're willing to take. It's a risk worth taking, and you know it. All right. Uh, hi, guys. And guess what? I'm going to annoy you. I'm going to annoy you with a bit of information. Do we need the... F did I already get rid of the... I did, didn't I? I got rid of the damn intro music. I wanted to keep that. Ah, forget it. I don't feel like looking for it. All right, look. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Can you do more than one thing? All right. Sorry I'm a few minutes late. I guess I'm kind of on time. But I am late because nothing's really ready. Okay? So I'm here, but I'm late because I just woke up like 10 minutes ago. I did shower. I was smart enough to clean up and get the grease out of my hair. Uh, but I got to do my morning thing. I, I need coffee and hopefully at least a snack. And I don't have any coffee. I don't even have like the instant stuff here. I ran out. I realized it while I was doing my baseball stream at 3 o'clock in the morning. But hey, that went well. I'll talk about it. But uh, yeah, I did the baseball thing. Uh, midnight, uh, I went on the air and it lasted till like 3.15 a.m. Went to bed, got up about 10 minutes ago. I could door dash. Out here we have something called Grab. Do you guys have Grab in, the, in America? We have two delivery competing delivery companies, uh, Grab and uh, Food Panda. We don't have any DoorDash. Uh, I mean, I could, but it still involves me running downstairs five flights, and the 7-Eleven I go to is only like a two-minute walk once I go downstairs, so it's virtually the same. So I'm thinking I might... I think what I might do, guys, is uh, play something and, like, basically leave a babysitter for you guys for 20 minutes. And it might only take 15 minutes. It might only take 15. And I'm sorry, but I got, I got to do it. I, there's no way. I, I need, uh, you know, I need the energy. Well, you guys want me to be on my A game, right? You want me to, you know, provide you that quality inter entertainment you've come to expect, right? Um Holy shit, and there's 16 people here already, so the pressure's on. Hey, hi everyone. If you're watching this for the first time in my channel, thank you for finding me. It might have been an accident, but thanks anyway. In fact, everything about this channel is sort of accidental, so consider it fate, okay? Uh, what you're about to watch is a guy on his laptop looking at home shopping channels and making jokes and playing games. It's pretty much the deal. Uh, there's a chat, uh, people involved, people involved. Okay, Steve, back that up. People get involved, don't you know? Uh, it's an interactive experience is I guess what I wanted to say. Do you see why I need coffee, by the way? Do you see how I behave without coffee? Uh, yeah, so check it out. If you like it, hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. It'll let you know when the stream's on. You can also just hit the thumbs up to help out the channel if you're in the mood. It's right below the screen. These things are right below your screen right now. You can do it. Do it now. You can always undo. If you regret your decision, you can undo it. But if you forget, to forget is worse than to regret in this case, I think. Okay, let me see how to chat. <clears throat> we got pool. When the mice is a way that cats will play. Okay, you mean when I, when I run? Yeah. Somebody's going to have to be the substitute teacher if I go run downstairs. I don't know who to put in charge. You know, conventional wisdom would say Marsha, but I don't know, a lot of you people are power hungry. I'll have to think about it. How you doing, Marsha? Oh, Marsha's saying leave us with a sub. Oh, maybe Marsha... She sounds like she wants to be the one throwing the uh, the little wadded up pieces of paper. What did you call those things? Spitballs? Yeah. She wants to throw spitballs. Danny Danny is just going to say Paul's in charge. Melanie's saying Marsha for sure. 
Oh no, have I created animosity in chat? JRB, I visited and said hi. I didn't think you recognized me. But JRB, you wrote in your comment, hi, this is JRB coming to say hi. <laughs> Why wouldn't I recognize you if you identify yourself? Uh, I appreciate that you came out. I don't know why you're on a different account. Maybe you're just using a friend's phone or something, but either way, I appreciate it. On the 86, hello, how you doing, Melanie? How's it going in Baltimore? I know that's not a Baltimore accent. I don't know what that is. Uh, Danny, I say hello. Amanda, how you doing? RC in the house. RC, good to see you again. Fitzy, good evening. Hey, Fitz, thanks for your help earlier, right before I went on the air. It seemed to go off without a hitch. RC again, Melinda, Melinda coming right in and saying hello and then getting very quiet very quickly. Melinda, are you starting to get lazy in chat? Is it just a, a courtesy hello and then just kick back and let the shenanigans happen? Uh, where is that famous porn guy? He can, oh, you want Ron Jeremy? You don't want Ron Jeremy in charge. That's just too much sweat and hair all over the place. It's just, yeah, it's, you're not going to want that. Uh, all right. Well, considering what everybody is saying, uh, I'm going to put Danny in charge while I play a video. How's that sound? Okay, fantastic. Danny's in charge. What does that mean for Danny? Absolutely nothing. There is no, uh, there's no, like, authority there's no ability there's nothing there's just a name that i give okay okay fantastic so i need to uh set you guys up with something to watch what would you guys like to watch uh i mean honestly it really ought to be home shopping because you know if i'm watching like a pre-made video and i'm not offering any kind of uh you know transformative content i'm just leaving my desk and letting another video play that's kind of hey by the way how's my thumbnail game looking for my orioles channel look at that huh look at steve hanging out with the graphics got my little live thing there logos i don't know um Yes, you need to do home shopping. All right, well, then I'm going to leave it on a channel. What channel do you guys want me to leave it on? Let's see who's on the queue on these different channels. I'll tell you what. We'll just go through the four queues and the two HSNs, and you guys say, that's the one I want to stick with, Steve. Summer love you never saw coming. For the next few... Summer love you never saw coming. I just that's, that's what I stumbled on when I opened up the page. Summer love you never saw coming. More than 500 people. It's brand new today, and I've never... That perfume talk. Eau de toilette. Ever seen us do this? By the way, that's French for eau de toilet. For all of you, uh, you know. Kind of a box it's with the, the large. Box. Kind huge, of a box? I'm looking for the size of it. 100. Yeah, that's milliliter. what she said. Yes, when it, we do things. I'm really looking for the size. I know, I'm like, uh, it's just really big. It's the size of my hand. Pl Run that back. When it, we do things in milliliters. I know. I'm like, uh, it's just really big. It's the size of my hand. Plus, Why, thank you. Plus, you're getting two of the body lotions to layer. I've never seen. Hey, we got a bundle. We don't need two of these. It's the same thing. Why do we need two? What, to fill the box? All right. I guess I can get a bingo card out now, but does it really make sense? Uh, I suppose if I got it up on the board... Somebody could keep track and, and bingo shit happens. We go over everything when I get back. I'm making a big buildup out of running downstairs to get a coffee. I, I want it to not be a big deal. We'll let you know what happens. All right, so I should break out a bingo card. All right, and pull. what's going on with this? Catch up on all the action from around the league the old-fashioned way. What's that about? Hold on. Now you got me interested. MLB scorecards. Oh, where you can keep score like that. Aha. 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 Well, here's the game I called today. Alex Pham with the win. Brandon Isert with the loss. Final Orioles 13, Blue Jays 8. 
I called this game, and there was a lot going on. That's why it took so damn long. Melanie, you're freaking right. He, especially all you ladies, you're like, I don't want to miss you. You're making me think about missing you, and then the actual missing will occur. Like, go ahead and leave already. All right. All right, let me just look. QBC one in the kitchen. Those will be the two choices, all right? I'm narrowing it down to two. Do you want to watch uh, a, a Kardashian sell some t toilet perfume? Or do you want this goddamn channel, which I might just say this is what we're watching because it's so freaking hard to get to. Fashion Finds Plus. That didn't do it? I got to put the QBC in? Oh, God, you are killing me. You are killing me. No, I don't want to go to the channel. I want to. Uh, I don't want to go to the, the page. I couldn't be more excited. Ah, thank you. Microfiber towel. Bring up the caramel choose it. That's just more action. Look. Ah. If you're watching the freaking kitchen, I mean, most of the time, let's be honest, most of the time, the kitchen is uh, the best place for bingo. Okay, most of the time, I gotta leave you on something. I got to go. As it was said, the quicker I get the hell out of here, the quicker I'm back. So let, let me get, ah! All right, I'm going to look at those scorecards there. Uh, thanks for uh, sending that to me there, Pool. Appreciate it. Matter of fact, I'll hit sub on that or follow while I'm right here. Okay, boom, I'm following. Now I don't have to think about it. Okay, uh, minimize this, drag this down. We have on the board, guys, okay? Go ahead and uh, take a screenshot of this or something. So, uh, you know, because once I click back, you're not going to be looking at the board on my screen. Questionable award. Anyone gets a customer call? Mizrahi, Batho, or Molly. Uh, solar panels. Before is better than a before and after. Bottle or glass of wine on the set. set. Rick the robot. Foodgasm that isn't David. Wegman stuff on the counter. Hawaiian just as long annoys us. Fake candles. Uncomfortable model, color choices, bedroom toy, talking with food in the mouth, cross promotion, doodle do, any lathering, unexplainable, hysterical laughter, utterly useless or terrible product. David's shirt apron combo is on fleek. Alberti, jeans or pants that are really sweatpants or pajamas. David rests his finger to lip, nose or chin. And finally, dumb alternative use of product idea. Marsha, your final chance. You can name another random channel where we're staying in the kitchen. What are we doing? I got to go. This is Dennis Batho, and I need coffee. Hey, we got wine right there, right in our hand. Okay, we're here. All right, we're already underway. I've made the decision. Everything else is up to you guys. I will be back ASAP, and it's going to be kind of awkward because I still have to sit over on the bed and put my shoes on. It sounds like I'm flying out the door, but I got to put on the shoes. I know you want to watch Pearl TV, Pool. We, we'll, we'll get the Pearl. All right, hang in there. All right? Enjoy. All right. For $20. It's an easy pay here. of $4. And look, you can put this in the center of your table to <gasps> protect look, your table. We can all talk this like this. Just came out of and then the we can just keep talking like this. Presenting. Yes. So I yeah. Can take a hot dish. Yeah, we talk like right this. And what if we talk what like this more? I can kind of set up I my could do wine that. glasses, my wine. I'm notorious for spilling wine. Are you wine notorious? I'm notorious too. Oh my God, we're both notorious. Absolutely. By the way, a fun little tip or trick. If you're fun going tip. to do this with my suggestion, look at this. Take hey, if you want a fun tip, let me drop my pants. All right, all right, I'm out of here. Take your towel, wrap it around like so. <gasps> I'm serious, because it, because these towels are machine washable, right. all you do is, is just kind of wrap it around, sort of like a scarf. Oh, that's so smart. And then pour your wine. Mm -hmm. These are amazing and will change your kitchen, and I love it under coffee makers. Yes. So whether it's out just for your dishes or whether it's out in for your kitchen appliances, yeah. it's such a great set. Remember, over 80 five-star reviews. Wow. It's so loved. So go to QVC.com to check your colors. Five colors completely sold out. So the ones Thanks, that you everybody. saw earlier are the ones that remain. Hang in there. You're Some the best. getting limited. Save the use of paper towels. Just use those microfiber towels instead. Still to come a set of three bowls. Non-slip bowls, and tell me again, melamine? Melamine. Melamine. I know. I know, it's one of those words that I- It's potato, I, potato. Potato, potato. Tomato. Melamine. Tomato. 
I'll just think it's going to be mine because I want to bring them home. <laughs> mine, mine, mine. Of, yes. <laughs> These are coming up. So they're non-slip. And they're going to be three of them for $24. And then, Lisa, this, the melamine, what makes that so special? Oh, because here's the great thing about it. It's not as heavy as a stoneware bowl. Okay. So if you're really looking for something a little bit lighter weight that perfectly pairs with the picnic table, yes. that is your bowl. And we are Amazing. retiring those bowls. <gasps> okay. So I don't know if we have any more coming in, actually. Okay. Now's the time to take advantage. Yeah. $24 gets you a set of three of them. So okay. it's almost like bring your temptations outside where you might be a little bit too nervous to bring sure. stone we're out now. Or younger hands, like yes. grandchildren, children, you know, yes, yes. little ones. Rachel. <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> yes. I have butter fingers. So I, I. I'm on air sometimes and so I'm like, I promise, I promise I, I can hold things normally, but not on air. <laughs> so. All right. Platter servings and mm -hmm. platter trays have become really all the rage. It started as a way to serve up your deviled eggs. And this actually began with Tara's mom yes. loving deviled eggs. Yeah, so you know, the whole story of Temptations it centers around Tara growing up with her mom who was a phenomenal cook, right? Mm -hmm. So Tara's mom cooked, Tara cleaned up, right? Phenomenal cook, and then dishes filled the size. So the fact that you can now prep, cook, serve, and store, even in this egg dish, yes. it's so cool, but deviled eggs are her thing for sure. Amazing. And look how sweet this is. So you can fit six eggs in here, because you're gonna cut it in half, right? Yep. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, but you're getting 12 slots, if you will. Okay. But true to temptations, not just for deviled eggs, and I think we have some great patterns and colors, we too. We do, so let's take you through those ones, because it does so much more than just an egg tray. Here's your old world in your blue. Five dozen only remain. There's your old world confetti. 110 remain there. Green old world 40, 40. I love the green old world. There's your red old world. Two dozen remain. So as you can see, some of these were down to just about last call. Then we'll take you over to woodland. There's your woodland white. There's your slate blue woodland your gray option in woodland, and your buttercream in woodland. Believe, very limited, fewer than 100 to go around total in believe. So there's your white believe, two dozen in the white, a few more in that buttercream for believe. Here's your poffetti option, fewer than 100. So Brian, doodle doo's gone. Okay, we do still have a few doodle doo, red Ooh. and black. Oh. Only a hundred with eggs? Remain. Like that's, that, you I just, know, come I on, you gotta that. do doodle gotta do doodle and it. eggs. You gotta do it. I just saw the price. I was just gonna say $12.99. <laughs> if you've Pretty never tried price. Temptations before, yeah. please let this be your entry piece because although we're calling it an egg tray, welcome to the world of Temptations where we're gonna show yes. you so many things you can do. Like I buy these all, those, all the time, that little mini quiche right there, right? Yes. So look how perfectly it fits in here. Has that helper handle on the side. So this goes into the oven up to 500 degrees, Great. but I can grab it so easily right out of the oven. How about getting ready for some desserts? Maybe you're, maybe you're hosting, like Easter's yeah. two weeks from tomorrow, right? I know. I love, you know, the petite desserts are such a big thing, and you have so many here at QVC. Yes. Just layer them in here, and because this keeps cold colder, you can prepare this in advance. Just a little tip. Put it in the refrigerator, and then you're nice. stress-free. Or the freezer if you or want Or the freezer. Little ice cream sandwiches. Ooh, like Moshi's or something like that. Yes. Mm. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, that'd be great, right? I, I mean, we're talking about the food, but I also, <laughs> as we're going through, I just want to highlight the beauty of this because yes. with Temptations, the detail and design, it just goes above and beyond. So here is that beautiful bee leave option in the buttercream. Look at inside. Every single slot for the egg has a little bee. Thank you for showing that oh. because Tara's attention to detail is second to none. So whether a piece is $12.99 or $129, the detail is the same. You're going to get quality, you're going to get value, you're going to get amazing affordability, but what you're also going to get is permission to entertain, to have fun around the table and create those memories. Oh, it's so true. Mm -hmm. Okay, sushi, 
Sushi, yes, I love that, over here. Sushi over here. This is so much fun because my husband and I love sushi, but we're always like, how do you serve it nicely? It comes like all it comes jammed. Like those plastic yeah, things like, from the grocery store. And sometimes and like, you know, we have people over and we're like, oh, let's order out and we go to get sushi. This is kind of an elegant way to really serve it where everything makes sense too. And it's not touching. Like my husband likes eel. I can't stand it. I don't, I don't want like it. it either. Right. No, I don't like I it either. I love that. So it, it, nothing touches. And then even things like arancini over here. And then a cute little tip. If you want this for Easter eggs, for dyeing Easter eggs. Yes. You said that and last time. Out. Yes. yes. And then display all display your Display them Easter all eggs. over here and let them go down the center How of your table. How happy would your kids or grandkids be to yes. see their beautiful eggs all displayed there? For sure. All your favorite colors, go over to QVC.com to check them out, but then give us a call because that's always the best way to place your order here on QVC2, 800-500-7590. It's super easy. They'll just ask you if you would like to purchase this egg tray and you will just say yes and tell them what color. So you're going to be good to go. $12.99. It's a $2.60 easy pay. H441755 for that one. Don't miss out. That's a save more than you spend. It's a savings of $14 for that one. Now, coming up in a little bit, we have beautiful oven gloves that really have become the standard when we, basically when we do any shows on QVC, these are the gloves that are used because they just do such a great job to protect your hands and they look so fun. And we actually have some patterns, Lisa was telling us, that have never before never been, been seen. seen. Not even on QVC. No, I'm not even, I'm not saying just on QVC too. I mean, never before be seen. have been seen. Like martini glasses. <gasps> Wait till you see the martini oh, glasses. Oh, I'm excited. So I that's know. coming up. And then you're seeing two different prices because some of them are on a save more. Oh. So there's, I think, four different patterns that you get a two pair for $16.98. The others, you get two pair for $25. So either way, a really fantastic deal. Those are coming up. We've got lots of gorgeous colors to show you. Now, you know the drill. When it comes to <laughs> temptations, something is labeled something, but actually it has 20 different uses. <laughs> and true. that is the case here <laughs> with the most adorable chip and dip bowl set that you're going to get. It's two quarts, and then you have this adorable little extra bowl yeah. for your dip Look that, that has a little hook that just slots directly onto that larger two-quart bowl. See the little divot right there? Look at there. All you do is you just <laughs> lay it right inside, and it's a Goldilocks size bowl, two-quart, which yep. I love. Middle of the road, not too big, not too small, kind of great for every day. But the story behind it is great. So Tara and Ed were vacationing in Europe, and they were sitting seaside, having their, like, champagne and their spritzes, oh, right? Sounds fancy. And out came this gorgeous hors d'oeuvre in a bowl like this. And Tara was like, all right, I got a temptation. We can call it temptationizing something. <laughs> I got to temptationize this and recreate it in a way that's a little more meaningful. So she actually created the bowl so that it was removable. So I love the fact that, we, you know, this we call it a chip and dip, right? Yep. But of course it has so many more purposes because use it on its own, use it together, or use it separately. Right. Right? Because again, because this is temptations, you're seeing right here, you can use this on its own as a great little baker. That's right. Oven safe, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, freezer safe. Really so versatile. Let me take you yeah. through the colors. Okay. It's a new item, and over 3,400 have been ordered since it was launched. It's, uh, so it's, it's like already so popular. Old. Yes, <laughs> so, so popular, and one that is a great deal, $24. At $4.80 will bring this home. This is your Old World Blue. 130 remain there. There's your Old World Confetti your Old World Green, and your Old World Red. In Floral Lace, there's your red option. There's your Cranberry, only 40 <gasps> remain in a Cranberry. Just to call out, we don't always have Cranberry, so if you it's want it. It's a popular one. I don't know when this is coming back, if at all. Okay. Oh, no, special edition, not coming back, <gasps> sorry. Okay, so if <laughs> it's special so edition, that's what it means, not coming back, so pick it up now, especially mm -hmm. in that Cranberry. Ah. We have Black Floral ah, Lace damn it. and the Blue Floral Lace. Oh, sorry. It, that was blue and then black. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's your woodland white. Class. Woodland slate blue. Class. Shut up! Thank you. Woodland gray. 
I love this one, your woodland emerald. Only 80 remain. I love that. I just, I just ran <gasps> up a whole building for you. And woodland buttercream. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the dinner set in the emerald woodland. Oh, I might get it after you better the show. Look quickly. I'm so excited. <laughs> Cock a doodle doo. Let me guess. Nothing bingo related happened until right now. Is that the deal? Holy shit, yes, Cheech and Chong. Thank you for getting the reference. And wait for my breath to come back. Normally it only takes half a minute. But I ran this time. And I'm in the, I'm on the wrong side of 40. Post heart surgery. Wine I got already. How dare you? So only only the free square, that's it. Only the free square after, uh, while I'm gone. Mm. On the 86 says, here comes the BS story. We didn't have a BS story. <laughs> there's your doodle doo. There's your red. And there's your black doodle doo. And then we have some beautiful seasonal ones. Here is your patriotic. Oh my gosh. There's Poffetti. Patriotic. There is all a flutter. There is your garden. Lemons and palm. Only 80. All right, we have a, we have a debate. Was there a laughter hysterical and unexplainable enough worthy of the bingo? Bull says yes. Melinda says uh, maybe not. He remained there. <gasps> oh my gosh, so many amazing. <gasps> <gasps> By the way, that's not the, my impression of her. That's just me trying to get my breath back. <gasps> <gasps> Brief? Okay. Amazing. Really adorable patterns and then some so really many. elegant ones everybody looks like a fucking cream sickle really something for everyone yeah, there. there's some and it's not coming back so when we see a price of twenty dollars for like a chip and dip but let's let's deconstruct it so it's a bowl. It's too cool bowl so if you want to mix in here it's today perfection. i'll yes. be yes. making a cake in here it still will give you all of that cuts down on your dishes yeah it, absolutely and then that's I love not gonna lean she's trying to make it lean it ain't leaning did. let me watch that that's struggling with a product demo even though they're selling the gloves, I bet you dollars to donuts they sell this. You want to mix in here? Watch well, her try perfection. to lean it. Yes. It's supposed to just ease. It's it's one of these things. Yeah, just set it. Right in here, bake a cake in here. Oh wait, I it can't balance it. I can't. Cuts oh, down no. on your dishes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh. And then I love the fact that if you did, I'm sorry, let me just put this down. Yeah, you don't know what the hell you're doing, do you? You don't really know what the hell are you doing? Oh, uh -uh. Kitchen aid. Wrong graphic now on the board. Oh, they are selling the blender. Excuse me. They're selling the uh, the what it mixer. Or they're selling doodle doo. What the fuck are they selling? They're, they're selling temptations, but they're they got a bowl, but they're selling the glove. The glove is on the screen. Are we sure the graphic is wrong? Because they're I'm looking at the glove. Right? There's one right there on the goddamn screen. A glove and bowl duo? What do you do with a glove and a bowl? Is that what you hand somebody before they, they give you back like a semen sample? There you go. Here's a glove and a bowl. Knock three times when you're finished. Boy, and somebody really finished. Pearl TV, solar panels, and uncomfortable model. I don't think we have the model on the board, but, uh, oh, we do. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Oh, by the way, the, the new uh, MLB, the show, you can make your own Taylor Swift character. Now Taylor Swift can hit 552-foot home runs because it's a simulated game that tries to mimic real life. Uh, sure, okay. Uh, Pearl TV. Pearl TV. Oh, that's an ad. That's big old ad. Oh, look at this. These look like little fried donuts on a stick. Yes, please. Just imagine a giant... Oh, she... Yep, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable, leaning, and solar panel. Hello. Look at that scowl. 
Look at the scowl on her face. I get it. It's Germany, but come on. Even for Germany, this is just too depressing. By the way, I have some German heritage, so don't give me any shit. I, I'm, I'm basically an amalgamation of both sides of the World War II. There, there's Italian, there's some German, there's some Jewish lineage, but I guess I'm technically not a Jew, so I can't say I am. But yeah, let's just say a couple of generations back, my, the two sides of my family might have might have been a good thing they met uh, 10 years later or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Anyway, hey, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Did I get the uncomfortable model one? No. Okay. Uncomfortable model, cross promotion, and then solar panels. All right. That's all. That's all we got. I got to eat. I got to eat. Asphalt for us in Holzminden, in the schönen Niedersachsen, mitten im Hochsommer. Da sitzt du am Sofa und denkst an nichts Böses. Patsch. Ist du mal eben innerhalb von einer Sekunde in die, auf die andere in die Steinzeit versetzt worden. Wie das passiert mir nur einmal. Und deswegen habe ich mir hier einen Stromspeicher zu Hause hingestellt. Jetzt warte ich aber natürlich nicht zu Hause auf den nächsten Stromausfall. Yeah, ich behaupte mal, das haben die Stadtwerke einigermaßen in den, in den Griff bekommen. Äh, auf, auszuschließen ist es nicht, aber bis es soweit ist, habe ich natürlich jetzt hier eine I kleine Geldsparmaschine. Wir hatten das Thema beim Vorgängermodell, wir haben es ausdiskutiert. Bei dem Modell hier übrigens haben Sie eine automatische Notstromversorgung, wenn Sie das möchten, denn hier können Sie ein solches Gerät direkt hey, an die Diana. Bei Ihnen Wait, zu Good morning. Thanks for joining us. In der Küche, am how's your, uh, den how's your nicht career den going? Den hier rein. Standing das heißt, and scowling Grund, for a living. How's that going? Durchgeschleift durch das Gerät und an den Kühlschrank weitergegeben. Jetzt fahren Sie in Urlaub und genau am ersten oh, there you go. That's good handwork. Tag Ihres zweiwöchigen Urlaubs. There you go. There you go. Paul, just imagine Diana's hand genau doing that to, I don't know, your coffee table or something. Jetzt fahren right? Sie in Urlaub und genau am ersten Tag your Ihres zweiwöchigen Urlaubs geht dann auf... I don't know what you're thinking. Uh, let's look back at the board here. Foodgasm's on the board. Wegman stuff's on the board. Any sign of David, Amanda, and or uh, Poole? Any sign of David around? Uh, what about the uh, ideal world? Did you guys go there yet? We've got dumb, useless product on the board. Did rather go in the top. We've got a winner, 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 chicken dinner. That's a useless product, folks. In at entry level, oh. and you have fun in with wearing that around. Opatra oh, yeah. mask. That's incredible. I the glow just, mask. This was my first addiction. This and the <laughs> that you have. Come on. That was your first addiction? You're doing it wrong. Holy shit. Start with, I don't know, sugar as a kid. Maybe work your way up to some pot. Try a little uh, a little alcohol, maybe. Maybe get addicted, I don't know. Maybe you're a teenager and you just can't stop, uh, you know, flogging the old bishop. You're addicted uh, to porn. How can this be your first addiction? I, 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 I don't buy it. I don't buy it. Mm. Mm. To say, and then it was then after this, then it became the dermy neck. It all went in that order. <laughs> Lux brush, glow mask, and then it was dermy neck. I mean, the coverage of lights. You have over 48 LEDs. You've got your red light. Oh, oh, did she just say the word over? I hate when somebody says a number that's so specific and then they say, over that or it'll be a round number but the real number will be like something like we've got over 50 uh selections and the actual number is 51 it's like yeah okay you got over 50 congrats but what do you mean you got over 48 lights over 48 in that order <laughs> lux brush glow mask and then it was dermy neck I mean, the coverage of lights. You have over 48 LEDs. You've got your red light. So what's the number? You got over 48. Is it under 50? Is it 49? 
Is it 40, is 49 the number? It's the only number that would make sense. It's the only number that's over 48 where you wouldn't just go, it's 50. It's just Four uh, fine lines and, of course, boosting collagen and elastin and strengthening the fibroblasts in your skin, which is that protective la uh, layering, if you will, that muscular layer. Then you've got on top of skin. By the way, which is that for a fancy or at least wants to suggest that they're a fancy tech company or whatever, th look, at, look at the graphic for this device on the box. I feel like I've seen better work in win, lose, or draw. It's fucking protective la uh, layering, if you will, that muscular layer. Then you've got on top of this this blue light, which is fantastic for skin irregularities, regulating oh, the pH blue balance light. of your skin. Then on top of to that, fix I'm all just your blues, does that take away my blues? The at the side. You just oh, and then there's a gold one. But you don't have to. Uh, this is the one I usually set it on. Ten minutes, I put way, this so on my face. But the I get a nice orange the glow. Light is your vitamin C shot for your skin. Hi, everybody. So How's again, your democracy easy, doing? Easy, you, know, you just plonk it on the skin. Love you it. relax. You have your siesta. You oh, by the way, let me just shoehorn in my political thought of the night. Now, uh, you know, if you vote, uh, you know, liberal and you're Jewish, uh, that means uh, you don't like Jewish people. He said that. What a fucking idiot. You just chill and you let the lights go through the system. Now, in the morning, I must admit, when I'm not working, I just, I'm addicted to this light, the amber light. This is what. All right, we got the addiction. Look, even she's concerned. She's like, okay, I thought you were using the word addiction like sort of, you know, just flowery language. You serious? We got fake candles. Hold on, folks. Pew, pew, pew. I've taken two bites of this. And bite number two is about the spiciest damn bite of this thing I've ever had. Wow. You're saving $28 with an... Holy carpet, Batman. An easy payment just shy of $37 what is a it? month. What is... Oh, those are boots? So when you're thinking about maybe coordinating with like the air... This, this is a really, really stupid look. These light blue, blue jeans with these giant, you know, purposefully made holes with a boot that almost meets the hole. So what do you got to do? Just like tuck in your pointless... This is pointless. This is pointless. Area rug and right. the runner. Do it with the five... There's a lantern on the floor near the graphic. Oh, this thing? Yeah, right there. Boom. Easy pays the best. Look at that. Look at that eagle eye. Amanda. Good job, Amanda. Good job. We do it. Exactly. And think of all the different ways you can use it. So I do want to tell We also have some half tucking going on. By the way, I saw some half tucking by a YouTube uh, personality. Young lady. I think she's in her mid 20s. So that might be where it's from. Maybe the. The girls, the young women out there, they're, they're the ones doing the half-talking. But you know what's different? The way she did it when I saw her, it actually kind of looked cool. So what we're seeing are grown-ass women trying to mimic girls like a third their age with this half-talking, but they're doing it in a way that you can just instantly recognize. <laughs> this is wrong. There's, a, there's an art to half-talking. I've seen it. If I find her... Uh, uh, what's her name? Bell, uh, Gabby Bell. Gabby Bell has a really cool YouTube channel. I'll, I'll, let me drop her. Uh, I'm going to drop her in. Look, I mean, for a, you know, end of millennial or beginning of Gen Zer type uh, personality, uh, I really like Gabby's content. You know, again, it, it, it's, it's going to skew toward uh, a younger audience, a lot of her uh, content. But, uh, I mean, here she is talking about online shopping. Uh, you know, she's she's uh she's a fun watch, and uh, she uh, was half tucking it on one of these videos I was watching recently, and I'm like, damn, you're pulling it off, you're pulling that off, Gabby, what you doing? Uh, yeah, come, guys, uh, just stick this link somewhere. I'm telling you, it's worth at least checking out. Um. She'll give you some hot takes. She really does a nice, 
she actually runs a YouTube channel the way it should be done. Uh, you know, all self, you know, DIY, you know, the editing and the, the graphic work. And uh, she's actually a very talented singer and can play guitar. And she'll make a parody song out of something she's talking about, like on the spot. I mean, she's, fuck, making me feel extremely lacking in talent, which may be true, but boy, does she really shine a light on how mediocre I am. Anyway. If you're going to use it in your house, you can use it on existing wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, okay? And we know that layered look is really in. Or you can put so it on tile, tuck. or you can put it on vinyl, or you can put it on hardwood floors. If you're going to use something other than carpet, I want you to get a non-skid under it. Okay. Because remember, this is a rug. It's not a mat, so I don't want you slipping and falling. Outdoors, Why I not? want you to put it just the way it is. Because that basket weave you're seeing there, that's where the rain and the snow and the elements are going through. I mean, look at the pile here. It's amazing, isn't it? Something being indoor outdoor. Yes. If you're like, okay, but is it a mat? Is it so it, it is, is not. so soft. It's I mean, amazing, it is isn't it? Lot. You know, one night it was when you had a today's special value. I can't even remember what it was, but we we turned on the TV and up. Uh, we gotta be a story about to happen. While she's in the squat position for some reason. What are you doing? You, you you're catching a bullpen session? What are you doing? What are you doing down there? It was when you had a today's special value. I can't even remember what it was, but we we turned on the TV Did you? and you were like throwing mustard and kind of oh, stuff I, on a I rug. Know, it was last March. <laughs> I remember I was and outside freezing. Was like, oh no, they're both lying about a memory that never occurred. What? Is she putting mustard on the, I was like, it's gonna wash off. He was like, no, it's not. I was like, well, sh it Lola. is gonna wash off. You wanna know something funny? And you, Ladies and gentlemen, stop the show making a cameo for the first time in ages. The Marlon Brando of Home Shopping Cringe Binge. It's Lola, everyone. Everyone, give it up for Lola, folks. Come on. Make Lola feel welcome right on back in. Get in there, Lola. Get in. No, cancel that. I didn't want to do that. What happened here? Get out of here. There we go. Hey. Lola. Every night? Is it live? Or are you are you lurking? Or are you watching it later? What you doing, Lola? You gotta. Yeah, okay, I, I I'd ask. Oh, both. Both. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. We've gone from. Hey, I thought I lost Lola as a viewer to Lola. Are you okay? You may be watching too much. Yeah, say just pop in and say hi when you show up. You can you can chill. I mean, look, there's no obligation for anything, but I would feel better, Lola, that when you come in and we're on live, give me one hello and then uh, go back to chilling. It lets me know you're here. That's how we keep in touch. What was that? I loved last night with the Vag Razor. <laughs> Wait, Vag Razor. Oh, the the QVC Japan uh, with the with the uh, the infamous uh, gr uh, poster board uh, graphic or whatever, right? That was the razor. <laughs> Everybody here live here was like going, "Oh, Linda, I hope that hose is off outside." I said, Guys, "I hope you're right." I hope you're right. I said, "You gotta trust me." Dirt. You're talking. You're talking the dirt, the mud, the must. That's really unfortunate. I mean, that felt like a BS story, but we're, we got two lying ladies corroborating each other's lies. There's no way for me to mark that square off now. I can't. Dirt. The ketchup, the red wine, the tea, the coffee, all those things that we're so afraid of. And by the way, you're not at using anything but water. You're not going to hose this down or use any fabric cleaner or anything like that. That's all you're going to do. But let's talk about the runners because I think these are. So wonderful. I love the size. I want you to think of a double sink in a bathroom. Pick a I'm color of it. here. Yes. So easy. And why is that great? Because when you buy that long runner that you're putting from that double sink, a lot of times you can't put it in your washing machine, right? Right. And you end up using it for about a year and getting rid of it. When this gets something on it, you just toes it off. That's what I love about it. It's better than the two little mats that oh. are always traveling. Exactly. <laughs> you get out of the shower and you go sliding on it, right? Yes. Uh, what I like about this also is maybe falling in the down. Maybe if you You've got a galley kitchen or it's going to go in front of um, your oven and your stove where you're cooking. Why not? Because if you have anything drip, not to worry about it. How about the hallways and you have to just kind of you want that noise reduction? You can put 
a couple down there in the laundry room. So many ways to use these. If you're fortunate enough, you're saying, wait, I like what Linda's saying. I really need something for a family room or dining room area. Pick this one up and pick up a runner. You won't be sorry. You will not, and especially if maybe you have children, right. maybe you have grandchildren. I know mm -hmm. my niece is four. She's she's sticky, you know? Like yes, there's, there's I have two four-year-olds. Yes, they are sticky. sticky. Yeah. Yes, they you are sticky. You don't have to worry. So mm -hmm. if you want to have that rug in the family room where you don't... That's pretty gross. I'm trying to eat here. Don't feel bad about them having snacks exactly. or whatever. Exactly. This is it. We're loving the blue. We're standing on the almost eight by ten. So if you're right. Yeah, Lola, I was, I was shitting on these jeans. I was about to say joning, and I just realized, my God, when's the last time I said joning? Who else grew up with the, uh, with the terminology to joan? To joan on something. Holy shit! It just came out of my lips. For the first time probably since 1991. I'm joning on her. I don't even know how to spell it. That goes back before the age of like texts. You never heard of joning? Okay, we're going to have to look up like Urban Dictionary or something. Because I want to see if, if this was a regional thing or... Let me try just joning like... Joan, like it's spelled. Yeah, joning, to put down or make fun of someone. That's joning. Yep. Put joning on me or I'll, you'll get smacked. All right, there's the proof. There you go. Yep, they were joning. Wow, I can't believe. I have no idea what the origin is. Or is there something you want me to click on? Is that what you're saying? We got jonesing, that's, yeah, that's when you're, you know, you have a, a craving for something and you can't get your hands on it. Usually drugs. Oh, uh, someone named Joan. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, there's probably a character from a show with, jo uh, with a Joan that was notorious for putting people down. That would make sense. Let me get rid of some of these tabs. I can't believe God that was that was crazy guys you guys ever have a moment like that where you just suddenly spit out a word you haven't said in like 30 fucking years next thing you know you're flooded with memories well I just had mine oh everyone hates Joan that was from the last season of Black Mirror boy Black Mirror JRB is my favorite uh, series of the 21st century but the last season and the one before that, these last two uh, seasons, I don't know. They've, it's gotten too Netflixy or something. I don't know. Where, where is the edge to that show? Where is the darkness? Where is the real grit? Now it's becoming more and more like sanitized Black Mirror. I don't know. It, I <clears throat> again, I. I wish they get back to their their good stuff. They're they're more uh, you know abysmal looks at the future that seem pretty accurate. I mean, you go back to that first season or two of Black Mirror that that's now like fifteen years old. That shit's already happening now. All right, um, bedroom toy. Wait a minute. I'm going back to ideal world. Oh, God. Having some food and some caffeine. Mm. Oh, sorry about that, Amanda. 20th. And one of my oldest friends, Juliet Nelson. If you're watching, Juliet, it's also her um, celebration. She's not 40. But it's her <laughs> birthday celebration that weekend. And they're having a big blowout celebration. Yo, what is she... Why is she glistening? She's not 40, but it's her <laughs> birthday celebration that weekend. That's, good Lord. Has anybody got like a scrub daddy? No, they're having a big blowout celebration. And then we've got wedding after wedding. And then we've got a event that might be a christening. It might be a this wedding. Might be a nice gift, it actually. might be a wedding and a christening. Mm. We don't know. All we've been told to keep 
our anniversary weekend, bank holiday weekend in August, free. Oh. So who knows? But isn't that lovely? And to know now, getting ready, I'm just thinking, mothers of the bride, mother of the groom. You. What's more annoying, American women cackling or British women cackling? Maybe I'll put up a poll. You want to look great in those photos. Or you're a bride you're yourself. You're a bride, coming up. mother of the bride. Yes, you think this. you want to get the bride? Hello. Oh gosh, you're a bride. Oh, it? that will. Oh, great. Can you imagine a bridal shower? The bride to be opening this thing up. Makeup artist. If you're a makeup artist, you're a mobile beauty therapist. If you invest in this, Ooh. you can start using it on your clients and then start adding, you know, and add a charge for it. Why not? Hey, Paul, watch it. I much prefer Asian women cackling to <laughs> American or English or, you know, this or British. And, and by the way, in um, Harvey Nichols in London, they do like therapy just me. bars. But then again, Asian, I mean, you're, you're, you're casting a very large uh, net there, Paul. There's a lot of different cultures. I love it when people just lump Asia all in as if there aren't, aren't like dozens and dozens of completely different cultures and languages and lifestyles and religions and attitudes and Asian over there um, someone will get uninvited who's that they charge 60 I gotta pounds blow my nose. for about Great. a 20 minute that, treatment uh, the just sinuses are therapy now so light oh. therapy bars you're going to see them more and more in department stores actually um, over the next couple of years now, Amanda, dumb use, alternative use would be, like, say you wear this because, let's say you're a welder, and normally you would wear the proper welding mask. Well, you, this could be used, right? Uh, it still covers the face. It's got that little, no. It's got to be some other way to use the thing, not just uh, a bad gift idea. That's not really, yeah, it doesn't count. Is it's going to be the trend, but you will have your own light therapy in the comfort of your own home. Adapt it to your skin, use it how you want to. It fits all face shapes, it's suitable for all skin types and all skin conditions. Um, yes, you can use the amber light. We just had a little question can you use the amber light every day? Oh my gosh, yes, yes, and yes. If I had time, I would do the amber light every single day. I'll do it every single morning and at night. Sometimes I used to do the blue light before I went to bed to stop no, these okay, spots from coming now. out the next morning. Okay, you know I hear a bunch of lies. Um, you... oh, this this whole like routine she's talking about. I do this on this night. I, I use a blue light. This no, this is all. These are lies. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the Where's the BS story? Did it already off the board? Is it not on the board? Why Why have I had BS story on my mind uh, forever? Oh my God. I hate when I do that. They suggested that you make money with it by charging people for sessions. Now that I'll take as a dumb alternative use. Oh, you're going to start your own side business with this? Okay, great. Set that up next to Lucy's lemonade stand slash uh, fucking therapy office. Let me know how that works out. Oh, I need to, let me get rid of this. Well, while I'm here, do I look good today? News. Do I look handsome? News. Am I entertaining you? News. Uh, you think you'll come back tomorrow? News. Am I in over my head? News. All right. And uh, what am I having for breakfast? How did you know? You're good. Fun with sound effects. All right. All right. All right. Let's let's try to get everything under control here. All right. All right. We got a nice cluster working over here. Bedroom toy and. Food and mouth looks like the best path. Hey, Lizzie, how you doing? Possible worse before and after. Okay. Well, are you confirming it is a before and after at least? <laughs> it's just a matter of whether or not before is better or worse. Dollars. I mean, I don't. San Tropez, or as I like to say, Saint Tropez. Who is this? Is that? Please tell me that's not a celebrity. That kind of looks like a has-been celebrity. 
That kind of looks like... Please don't be... Oh, that's gunk. That's gunk already. Oh, no. I might have a... Wait a minute. I might have a screenshot here. The, the two of them both look kind of silly here. Dollars a piece. I'm going to go that back. Wait, is that Lindsay Lohan or something? I wouldn't put it past Lindsay to be doing this. Six dollars a piece. That would be with the two nine dollars. And it's minutes. really hard to tell what she looks like these days because her face is kind of jacked up. No offense, Lindsay. Oh, here's a before. Oh, how do you work this? This is this is a before and after. I've never come across. Well, of course the before is better. Who wants to walk around with striped skin? Yeah, before is better. It's the easiest call I've ever made. Sorry, I don't want fucking zebra skin. Thanks. Yeah, Amanda, thanks for that one. That one, oh, that was, that was easy. Light tan. If you apply it and leave it for two hours, meaning rinse it off, you'll get a medium tan, and it's your medium tan. No, I get it. I get that, Lola, but, you know, A, it's funny. See how Marsha laughed? And B, I'm using a technicality. We're live. Auditation. Ah! We, we should not be sunbathing. Then you leave it on that max ah! time and get your glow. Oh, I see. Glow. I wow. Don't even remember. Wow, she went full Rachel Dolezal. Wait a minute. Whose job are you trying to take? Remember what my natural skin color looks like anymore? <laughs> And I don't but care when, to when know. You, when you do see it again, you're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't care to know. This is like your skin. This is if God. These are some knobby ass looking knees. I got to tell you. I tell you what. I might, I might be the toughest thing for women to pull off. Hot knees. I think there's a reason why there aren't many knee fetishists. God created you in the perfect, like your perfect skin. This you is just, what I got, I don't know. Like name, name like the hottest woman today. Like who's, who's the it girl? Who's the it girl right now? I want to see knees. Yeah, na name, uh, you know, Anya Taylor Joy. She's, she's huge. She's huge. All right. This woman is freaking. She doesn't look like she's from this planet. Uh, if I just type in knees, God damn. This is really, okay, well, actually, she's showing a knee. I don't know. Okay, well, I need him just standing up. You can't be sitting all, see, you're not going to find it because she's always going to be sitting in some way where even the knees look okay. I want just a straight up and down shot of a beautiful woman's knees. All right, maybe we can get a good one here. Let's get a look at the knees. You know? Again, yeah, so let's say you're just looking at that, all right? You're like, all right, you know. Even here, there's something weird going on right here. <laughs> so nitpicky. Hey, take like the most talented, young, beautiful actress in Hollywood and uh, pick her apart, why don't you, Steve? While you sit there with fucking yellow teeth from smoking for 30 years, you fucking moron. All right, all right. Fair enough. Uh, do, 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 do. So we still don't have unexplainable hysterical laughter. That bothers me. We need it. My knees? Didn't you see me walk out the door? You want to replay? These knees go upstairs. As actually, <laughs> funny should uh, funny should mention my knees. I have Osgood Schlater's disease. If you're familiar, I mean, I don't have it now, but growing up, I had to quit playing sports because of my stupid knees. My, I was, my, my body was growing faster than my bones could stay attached. So I had ligament damage in the knee because my bones were like separating and I couldn't crouch. I was going to be a major league catcher. I swear it. I had the build. I had the baseball IQ. But I couldn't squat anymore. I played a couple of seasons, and by the time I was a uh, uh, sophomore in high school, I got this. I had to walk around on braces for a year. 
That was fun. <clears throat> and not like, you know, crutches like cool people. I'm talking like Forrest Gump braces. Uh, I think I was like 14 at the time, Pool. I don't think I was getting it in quite yet. But uh, that is a that is a uh, fair observation to make. I probably wouldn't have been able to do doggy style while going through puberty and uh, having a growth spurt. That's a good observation. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't run, Lola. I can't. Oh, but Lola. Lola saying run. St- ah, I see what you did there, Lola. You know, I see what you did. You know what? When's the last time anyone's watched Run, Lola, Run? Boy, that's a fun, like, 70-minute movie. That movie is quick, and it don't stop, and it's a fun time. Run, Lola, Run. That's a good one. Uh, All right. I'm still, like, halfway through this breakfast, just uh, so everybody knows. We're in the second hour. Let's take stock. Okay, so there should be some channels that have switched over to some new hosts Pool, Amanda, you guys got any uh, new uh, info out there? What's happening in the kitchen now? While I go through the painstaking process of getting back to that. Who, the kitchen had laughter? My brother's going to play baseball in college, but he cut his hand on an X-Acto knife and was out his senior year. Boy, that sucks. Yeah, not, I mean, ugh, what's worse, to have like some unpreventable like illness that that isn't your own fault or having some accident that maybe if you're a little more careful you would have rewinded about a minute on the suntan thing oh we're still gonna hang out here what are we rewinding for the before and after i thought we got that already yo what's up what are we looking for as i go back more before and afters Oh, the laughter. Okay, go back like a minute. All right. How long are they going to make her stand there like that? Okay, there they are. Who is that? That is... If that isn't Lindsay Lohan, she hangs out with Lindsay Lohan. Who is this lady? I need to know. Okay, let's start it right here. Entropay, the price is going up at the end of the day. You aren't going to see this on the air this month, and here's um, all we have left. 1600 left so we aren't seeing this on the air again for the rest of the month and you're not going to see this price auto delivery is popular and 20 dollars locks in on auto delivery and there's no shade you leave it on longer one so one color suit so all these women have the same product on it's a lovely gear she's a darker skin tone model and she put one coat on last night she left it for three hours i hear the accent this is yes. the look you get all you have to do is just smooth it all over your limbs i would moisturize elbows knees hands and feet it dries instantly you sure that's not a Baltimore accent, Melanie? Uh, I heard her say water earlier. It's got a mood-boosting fragrance technology. So it's the most lovely. Look at-, Look at this. You're a model. Come on. You know you're purposefully standing as unappealing as possible. You know? Before and after. Wow. It's such a what? big difference. She's like an olive goddess. It's oh, my beautiful. gosh. I not expecting that i mean first of all because it looks not what what happened there i guess was that the moment because i don't know what even happened hands and feet it dries instantly it's got a mood boosting fragrance technology so it's almost lovely look at the before and after wow it's such a big difference she's like an olive goddess oh my gosh they're laughing at the before and after not expecting that i mean first of all because it looks it's almost like she's laughing like She's gone through that, like, Robert Downey Jr. Tropic Thunder surgery. Oh. So natural. I was just like, not oh, one streak in sight, not one patch in sight. It's beautiful. And we're hydrating her skin. It can stay good for 10 days. If you want it deeper, you just apply more. Stop throwing the gang signs. This product, you've just got to be good for one hour. When you apply it, as long as you don't get wet, you don't put products on your skin, you're just good for one hour. Don't get wet. Don't eat after midnight. Avoid light, particularly sunlight. That'll kill you. Nothing can wreck this tan. You're not going to get any streaks, no patchiness or anything. And you're going to love... Lizzie, if you're talking to me, take a number. 
your body, love your skin. Look at that, it's amazing. It's amazing. And that's why it's multi-award winning. And you're in control, you know? Like, if you want to try it the first time, leave it on an hour, see what you look like. It's Next time, leave beginners. it on a couple hours and see what you look like. And then maybe before you go on that big vacation, we all know we should not be sunbathing. Then you leave it on that maximum what? time and get your glow. I don't even remember what my natural skin color <laughs> looks like anymore, and I don't but care when, to when know. You, when you do see it again, you're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't care to know. This is like your skin. This is if God created you. All right, fuck it. We gave him enough time. I'm going to count it. Whatever. I, I'd like a little better. Odds are we'll hear, hear more ridiculous laughing at nothing, but okay. Uh, what do we do here? Oh, just the gremlin side. Uh, I, I still don't know what, what I want it deeper. How does that relate to gremlins? Oh, are you are you on two different tangents here, Lizzie? Lizzie, I'm I'm lost. Okay, where are we going, guys? The bottom row is fucked. Two Davids and an Alberti, and no side of either. Where's Where's Rick the robot? Where's Ms. Rahi? Where's Hawaiian Justin Long? Hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, let me go to Q two and three, particularly three. Where's the clothes? We got any uh, potential pajamas they're trying to pass off like normal pants? Sh leg shape in uh, it? Maybe. Oh, but these are like uh, capris or whatever, right? These Same fabric. Actually, they're not even that. They're just long shorts. Aren't they? Mm -hmm. And honestly, it is a great fabric. Oh, does lather alone get us bingo? Oh, it does. All right, uh, let's, uh, there's some of those other channels we don't go to that often, like uh, TVSN comes to mind. Uh, so my troops out there looking around, I would suggest uh, looking at some of those uh, sort of lesser watched channels like TVSN. I'm going to give them a try right now. Oh, apparently they're on style. It's 14, you could possibly go down. Ah. All right. Uh, QVC 2 Deutschland might help. Wait, Pool, are you being coy right now? Are we on the verge of bingo and you're 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 trying to uh, you know. Hey. What was that? Oh my god. I would bet dollars to donuts that I just heard a woman orgasm. More than one apartment away. That wasn't next door. I know those voices too well, but a woman just orgasmed on my floor. That was very clear. <laughs> hey, congratulations. All right. Huh? What a perfect time, too. You know, it's a cloudy day. It might be a rainy day. You know, get it in. Roll back over to sleep. Uh, Deutschland, sorry. Somebody just, uh, somebody just got what they were looking for. Happy for them. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn it. I got to open up the Discord again, though. It's a delayed uh, response, especially you got to wait for this stupid thing. Then you got to remember, oh, yeah, click on here and then click there and then click this. And then finally. News. 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 Was it as good for you as it was for me? News. News. Would you like a cigarette? News. I'm ready for round two. How about you? I keep up. Pop. I keep up. Pop. I'm telling you, I took one of those, uh, you know, boner pills. I'm ready to go for 72 hours. Oh, oh, oh. oh don't worry. I'll take a break. You know, a guy's got to eat. All right. Thank you for nothing, you useless reptile. Oh, you know, you don't have to. Yeah, you know, take a look at what I'm take a look at what I'm working with here. <laughs> what? All right, that's kind of mean. I'm telling you, I'm packing. Liar! 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 All right, I think I just <laughs> I managed to make a little story out of all of all of these. Okay, enough of this. This is silly, Steve. Now you're just being silly. Rewind some. Who? Who the hell is this guy? 
Oh, Deutschland. Okay. Define some, sir. This looks like the German Newman. Man hands on two. Which two? Q2, HSN2. What? Look at this duo. Oh my God. Wait a minute. I, oh my God. Suds? Suds? But is it lathering? It's, it's not. Lathering is suds on skin. Uh, what do we call this? I mean, it's a gunk demo. Guys, I'm not uh, being a jerk, right? This isn't lathering. Sind, ja, Baumwolle, Jeans und ah, so weiter. Und da, das ist wie mit einer Creme, ja? Wenn Sie eine Creme haben für empfindliche Haut, dann ist die natürlich auch geeignet. The lather is getting on the skin. Lola, you know that just typing that out sounds like a stretch, doesn't it? <laughs> you know you're stretching. There are suds, but lathering is an attempt to put the suds on your skin in order to, you know, clean up. He, he's not working up a lather to, to clean his hands. Ich sag mal Bauarbeiterhaut, ja? But lather so is suds. Bei unserem, All right. bei you, auch. you give me one shot of one sud bubble on a finger and I'll accept it. Uh, eine hochverwobene Seide oder Mikrofaser mit den vielen feinen Fasern, uh. die hat einen besonderen Anspruch, aber diesem Anspruch wird natürlich eine normale Baumwolljeans immer gerecht. Ja, Sie müssen die Wäsche also nicht auseinandersortieren, oh, so nach dem Motto, ladder. linke Haufen äh, Mikrofaser, rechte Haufen, hands. was anderes. Und das ist das hands. Ergebnis. Ja? I want to see. Sehen, Wait, is this an HD? 720, fuck that, give me 1080. This is too important. I need, this, I need crisp Jetzt hier. Wait, 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 hold on, I see it, there is bubbling and also a very dirty fingernail, you disgusting pig, ladies and gentlemen, bingo! Piece of cake. How do I do it? How do I do all of this in a two hour block? I'm running down for breakfast. I'm pulling out bingo. We're about to go down another rabbit hole, I guess. I just, I just don't know how I do it all. I don't. At this point, uh, I'm not even in control. This experiment has sort of just taken over. It's like Rise of the Machines, honestly. It's Judgment Day over here in my channel. I am no longer in control. All right. That should be a nice... I'm like Bob Ross with a palette right now, mixing up my oils. Okay, that looks good. All right. And we'll start off with a nice, happy little cabin. And... Mm. Okay, folks, I mean, you know, wait a minute, did I, did I ever wind up using that for a screenshot or not? <sighs> Good God. Aaron, go fuck yourself. <laughs> hey, St. Patrick's Day, that happened, right? How was that for everybody? Did, who got drunk? Who celebrated uh, their Irish heritage by going out and getting piss stinking drunk? Anyone? Mark Charles is a real chef and has been married to his husband for over 20 years. Well, that's that's good to know. 
Uh, doesn't mean he doesn't uh, make me cringe every time I see him. Yeah, you can be a good person and still make me cringe. You know. In fact, odds are, if you do silly, cringy stuff, you're very harmless, and uh, you know, I need more people like you around. I need more people like these two in my life. Okay. Lola can't believe it. Well, if Boy R D can be a chef, why not? Blitzblank sauber in der Kürze. Oh wow, he even got a little bit of lather, lather on his elbow. Der Zeit mehr kann man wirklich nicht erwarten oder erreichen mit so einem mit so einem Vollwaschmittel. Okay, guys, what do you want to do? Uh, Samir Bob Nani. I think we should do Samir Bob Nani tonight. We did Darman last night. We had a K video the night before. And with Samir, I don't have to worry about bingo because I'm done with the bingo. That took a lot out of me. I want to wind down now with a Samir video. What do you guys say? Oh, that's right, Sean. Okay, fair enough. We can't leave Sean sitting out in the lurch, can we? Poor guy. All right, you guys know the drill. Sean, the gym collector, and then we'll wrap it up with a Samir video, okay? We have today, oh, he's bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, isn't he? Nice bright lighting in here, a bright blue, like, runner, jogger, track suit thing going on. I don't know what he's got on. But he's showing you how large, with every thumbnail, he'll, he's showing you how large my genitalia is. I don't know why he does that. I don't know why he makes a habit out of it. But hey, here's something. Here's something I like to see. You know, normally I watch one of his videos that's only a day old. I go to click on it and there's been zero views. He's got 123 views already. He's already two thirds of the way to his last view count. He's crushing it. Over 10,000 subs, sometimes almost getting 200 views. Okay, guys, uh, Gym Collectors with Sean. If you're not familiar with Sean, uh, basically he sells gyms from his basement. It's his own shopping network in his mind. Uh, he does a stream once a week. Uh, it runs live, I believe, right? Or does he just upload it? Uh, no, I guess he does just upload it. But either way, the idea is, you know, he's got a phone number. You call in, you buy one of his uh, one of his things. The problem is, his streams tend to last somewhere in the two hours and fifteen to two hours and thirty minute range. And uh, you would think, yeah, okay. Say hello, maybe go over a few notes, maybe five minutes in, ten minutes tops. You start getting into these items. No, not Sean. Sean has never gotten into an item within ten minutes. Not within fifteen, not even within twenty. Sean likes to take his time. And that's why everyone is putting in their bids right now. JRB says Sean will have his first item up for sale on the 55-minute mark. Now, remember, this bid you're all putting in, it counts when there is the first item that is indeed for sale, not giveaway, and we need to see that sale price on the screen. The moment that price hits the screen, that is the moment uh, that your guess uh, comes into play. We have 55, 44, 33, 50, and 38. I'm going to go f ooh, 40... Mm, I feel like, oh, 48. Damn, I'm I'm running out of options here. Do I want the under? Do I want the over? I feel like every time someone's taking the over lately, they're they're winning. All right, I'm gonna go 50. It looks like you guys are being kind enough to give each other like a. Okay, well, pool's only giving Marsha like two. All right, fine. I'll work with two. 57 is my guess. Like the Chevy, like the Heinz sauce. I'm going 57. All right, let's say hi to Sean first. Let's ca let's catch up with how he's doing. Welcome to Gem Collectors with Sean. I am Sean, and I hope everybody had a um, wonderful St. Patty's Day. Um, you know, some go out and uh, eat. Lizzie, Lizzie, that's foul. Lizzie, that's really really foul. I, I feel like you done did that on purpose. You're that fourth person in contestants row that waits for the other bids and goes, $761, Bob. 
761. Meanwhile, screwing over everyone else. Yeah, I see what you did, Lizzie. I see. You want 59? You got it. You ain't getting 58. I'm sick of these shenanigans. There's getting, too many people are getting involved. We're, we're the Irish food. Um, Irish food. Some just um, play Irish for. Okay, I forgive you. All right. Well, Lizzie, your official bid then is 59. Okay. Per day, and I know in certain places, like up where um, Miss Barbara is, up in Brooklyn, in that area. I mean, they have whole entire areas um, of. Irish communities and whatnot. So um, some people can really, um, I guess, uh, play. Sean, do you actually have a thought planned or? Um, of Irish communities and whatnot. So um, some people can really, um, I guess, uh, play it up and be part of it more than others. I'm actually one-fourth Irish, so yes. <sighs> Boy. You can kind of see how, Sean, we, we are in the first minute of a two-and-a-half-hour presentation. You thought, well, I was, yep, I'm one-fourth Chinese as well. Irish. Quarter Irish, quarter Chinese, and 50% batshit crazy. Is that how, do I, do I have the, the proportions correct? Coming from my grandmother, the Chinese coming from my grandfather to my mom, who was born in Shanghai and um, had to. Ah, didn't expect to meet you here in Shanghai. Uh, was very wealthy, very, very wealthy. My grandfather. How long have you been uh, in Shanghai? I graduated from uh, Harvard. Here is a uh, Naval Time Ambassador from uh, to the United States. He. Um, yeah, he's got that um, Elizabeth Warren Native American heritage going on. That one sixteenth of one eighth of one percent. Um, e e extremely brilliant man, and ended up owning several city blocks in Shanghai. Let me say that again for you guys. Shanghai, okay? It was all stripped from him when the communists took over. And uh, he... Wow, what, a, what an uplifting story. The Diary of Sean the Gym Collector. He was put under house arrest for the ensuing um, 40 years after that. And... Uh, I started collecting gyms in the attic. My mom, at seven years old came to the United States um, and was... Wow. Guys, we're getting the entire backstory of Sean. Let me go ahead and tell those that made an, uh, a low number bid, you guys are in trouble. All right? If you're in the 30s, heck, if you're in the 40s, I'd be worried right now because Sean is apparently ready to just let it all out. Poor there on because my Chinese grandfather, as a sign of wealth in China had concubines then and why oh sean, sean where sean get on the track i almost feel like you brought up your chinese heritage just to have an excuse to bring up concubines okay what what what's the hot take on concubines sir in other words other wives and even though my grandmother was designated number one wife the Irish Catholic in her was not going to be satisfied with six others behind her. So um, that's when she had divorced him and, and moved to the United Why are you telling me this? So your mom is one of six women some Shanghai dude was banging in his concubine. What's the Irish part of the story? Jesus. Well, there was this potato famine, and uh, there was this criminal who met, uh, you know, a lady with a venereal disease, and they hooked up. A lot of good backstory it's going it's on. Kankakee, Illinois. <laughs> and um, my mom ended up graduating um, 
from a private girls' college in St. Louis. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Wait, from what college? Um, from a private girls' college. In a private girl. Just because it's private doesn't mean you're not allowed to say what it is. Is it a prestigious college? Say the fucking name. A private college? Lincoln Technical Institute? DeVry? What, what, what's the fucking uh, private college? In St. Louis in Toronto. Now, see how all that start? You never know what you're going to get from me because sometimes, and I consider myself an introvert, but in my world amongst rocks and minerals, I guess um, I'm completely the opposite because I'm comfortable. It's all I've ever known since 11. Uh, that seems old. to be the problem, Sean. You're way too comfortable. You're so comfortable that you don't get to the point. Is I've lived, eaten, and my passion has never waned. If anything, it's gotten stronger as I've gotten into other areas, prospecting, you know, with the tractor. I have to have I'm finally tractor done eating, and my, boy, do I feel the better. the excuse of it being a, uh, you know, oh, I need it for prospecting. Of course you did. Um, so, um, but... I have to almost hold my hands because uh, I'm a, one that talks with my hands and it doesn't always play well if I'm doing this. And you have yet to use your hands at all until you brought up how you talk with your hands. Where are we at? 305? Let's just scroll back. Let's see how much hand gesturing has got, happened in the first three minutes. I mean, some like sort of you know, clap, clasping your hands together on the table. That's not talking with your hands. You don't talk with your hands at all until you said that's what you do. I just went through the whole three minutes. You never did it once until you now say you do. Um, so in, in front of my... Marsha, you can't take this? Marsha, you got to have that... that that pain tolerance this is all this is what cringe is all about you got to have that tolerance we got to build it up my face in front of you but you should see me when i'm showing rocks and minerals and i'm just talking and i'm like further back of my chair i my hands are moving i no, am, they're not your hands aren't moving I'm talking with my hands my mom that came from my mom that and came from your mom dramatic. my mom was um brilliant Brilliant. Never could speak a word of English and um, uh, <laughs> up to seven years old. Then, you know, later she could never speak a word of Chinese. So. I am really happy with my bid. How, how is he ever going to be able to segue out? I've never let it play this long. I, I, I'm intrigued. So, um but being half Chinese, you know, I'm one fourth and um, I have I'm one of six kids and um, I just heard him say I have one of six kids. Did anybody else hear that? One fourth and um, I have I'm one of six kids. And oh, you're one of six kids. OK. And um, I won't use the exact description, but. Uh, when some people have seen uh, some of my siblings, uh -huh. especially two of the four, but basically three out of the six. Uh, two of the four, three out of the six. What? My, my dad was German, so I have German in me also, and and Welsh. So <laughs> the. Um, so in other words. You're a 21st century human being like the rest of us, where you're not like 100% anything. You're an amalgamation of several different cultures and ethnicities. Yeah, that's pretty much a lot of us, Sean. And honestly, I kind of hope, I hope everything just sort of turns into one giant group of people i mean I, you know i don't ever want to take any way away anybody's uh, heritage in, in terms of like traditions and you know stuff like that i mean that, that's all very important but uh wouldn't the world be a better place if eventually we got to the point where we just go 
Yeah, we're all basically walking around with the same blood at this point, same genetic code. Yeah, your hair might be a little more like this, and my skin might be a little more like that, but the, we're pretty much all... Uh, he does look very white, doesn't he? <laughs> For all of this uh, ethnicity he's throwing out there, he does look extremely white. But, uh, okay. Chinese, and, uh, you know, if you did a, uh, plotted in a uh, uh, um, hereditary there you go. plot and chart. What? Are you you would find that there'd be a certain percentage out of six children that would have a greater um, heritage look, let's put it that way. And certainly I do. I have a couple of brothers that, you know, we used to say, oh, you're adopted. But certainly wasn't the case it was really probably us because my mom looked being half chinese uh, oriental and probably those that didn't so much God, he even said oriental no he don't refer to people as oriental he, we haven't been doing that for a very long time sean you can barely say oriental rug anymore without getting people upset uh, we're the ones that looked adopted but uh, but they looked that that um Asian. So um, that's that's a little bit of background. Now, that's a little bit of background. Is there more? Please, Sean, the floor is yours. I know Marsha wants to know. Um, with six kids, oh what my do you God. do on vacation? Well, in How did we wind up here? Family vacation. Sean, it's a home shopping show. What are you doing? I can understand going off the edge in the middle of something. Like you just start going on a tangent and next thing you know, you're like, how did I wind up on this topic? But you're, you're coming right out of the gate. Completely off topic. Spiraling further and further away from anything resembling a home shopping program. You're like a guy in space detached from the cord and you're just spinning uncontrollably into the nothingness. The Cowie Valley of Franklin, North Carolina. My uncle also owned 200 Yeah, here's my impression of Sean's stream on March 18th, 2024. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Gin Collectors with Sean. I am Sean, and happy St. Patrick's Day. So today, uh, you know, we're going to be, uh, you know, looking at uh, probably some uh, gems. And uh, hey, here's something you might not know. Uh, I've got, uh, I'm quarter Chinese. And, uh, yeah, so let me explain a little bit more about that. Uh, my mother's a uh, half Chinese and, uh, my father is German and, uh, I've got six brothers and sisters. Some of them look more Chinese than I do. So I get picked on about that. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm missing most of my teeth, and uh, I haven't found a bottle of conditioner since 1976. Let's see. What else? I don't know. That's that's all I got for now. I'm sure I'll come up with something. For apple Farm in the same county, between um, staying at the farm every summer and rock hunting and going out to the Cowie Valley and the Ruby and Sapphire. Did you take care of the lambs, Sean? Franklin, North what about Carolina, the lambs? Guess what? right up at the top of the mountain and over across um right across the county line i think is oh yeah out. when we when we got to the word concubine that's when it totally went off the rails which of course is a ruby deposit all throughout the he went from happy saint patrick's day to my father had a concubine in like three minutes <laughs> sounds corundo oops was being heavily um mined about a hundred years ago because there it was before silicon carbide had been invented as an abrasive and so they used the most scale hardest of nine corundum and that i want to look at my wow 10 people are, are are fighting through this we got up near 20. are you shitting me 42 people popped in 
At one point, 20 were chilling at once. And my like count is not even double digits. I, uh, I'm very disappointed. I'm disappointed. Uh, as a natural embraces. And actually, one of the other words for condom is emery. Sean has six likes, for Christ's sake. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to start scrubbing. Enough is enough. We might come back to this episode with Sean and just maybe take five-minute chunks. I want to see everything he's talking about. We're up to 25 minutes, by the way. 28, 29. We are a half an hour in. We are a half hour in. Imagine, and we only listened the first six minutes. Imagine 24. Imagine taking what you just did and watching it four more times. That's what you're working with. In fact, make it five more times because we were still just talking at 34, 35, 36, 37, 41 minutes. Sean is sitting there doing nothing. 41 minutes. <gasps> Ta-da! 43. Here we go. No, it, what it looks like is something that you will treasure. Oh my God! Look at these fingers. Uh, God. Whew. Uh, maybe that should be my screenshot tonight. Treasure because this, these are from an extinct mind. Hey, Dead Space! I appreciate you doing both of those things. I wish you could stick around. We're only uh, we're we're on the uh, final home stretch of the uh, stream tonight, and you know we're getting into an exciting part of the show here. And even though there are okay, it says free item. Yep, pool has that written in chat as well. Free item right there. I love how it, they just randomly stick that anywhere. Some crumbs to it. It oh, actually. What is this? What you look at that? You can see because of that. This is like petrified granola bar that, that reflection see all those that's the real deal because the, the this is the japanese iridescent rainbow garnet and <laughs> bacon there's bits. one nice yeah that would go great on a cob salad larger piece look at that and it Wow, look at all those Honey like bunches of oats. And You're going to love them. The best of the bunch. As well. Look at that. And then, ooh. So, oof. this is a collection of... Nothing. It's a collection of nothing. That's why you're giving it away for free. Nobody cares. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. Counts it's all not free. It's fee. Oh, wait, there is an R in there. What the fuck kind of typing program is that? That R is barely in there. Looks like fee to me from a distance. All of a sudden, um, can you... Hey, Dead Space, what do you mean junk? Your junk is someone else's treasure. Okay, folks, this could be it. We're looking at a necklace, I think. Yeah, could this be it? Chair, right? The moment of truth. <laughs> okay. Let me put those away, and we'll be back to, with the start of the show. Oh. The start. We'll get back with the start of the show. Yeah, that first 45 minutes where I was just dicking around. I don't want to ever be confused or, or uh, what do you call it? Accused of, uh, you know, digressing too early in the stream ever again. You think I digress in the early part? Only have Come on. this one set of two strands, of course. All right, we're in minute 45. Somebody should be getting exciting. The dollar sign, I'm just waiting for it to change. It could be another two, three minutes. All right, he's already fiddling with it. Together, And these are faceted, albeit kind of... Uh, we're in the 46th minute. I think, I'm, I th what did I bet, like 50, 50 something? I don't think we're going to get there. It's going to be close, though. We're at 48 minutes, still no price tag. All right, now I want to look at these bids. Pull bid 48 on the nose. Marsha with 50. I'm on 57. There's no way. God damn it. Pull and Marsha right, right in the ballpark. I know Marsha's getting excited. 
She's like, come on, just delay one more minute, Sean. You keep delaying. Delay one more minute, you son of a mother's uncle butt. Offering to my people. My people come first before her massive, massive jewelry collection. We think we have rocks. Oh, also, there is a picture I sent you. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah. Yeah, I mentioned it in my opening. Yeah. Hey, Sean, uh, it's nice that you're having a chat with somebody off camera, but could you maybe go back to hosting your show? That you'll, You're going to love it. So if you don't mind and when you have it, could, uh, let me know so we can show it. I told him if you were um, in a good mood, then you would uh, <laughs> download it and, and we'd get to see it. Miss Gabby sent it. She said, this is how I picture your basement. And Miss Gabby... Who wants you to join? Oh, tick. Okay, back. Uh, someone put me on their broadcast without asking on TikTok. How does that work? What do you mean put you on their broadcast without asking? I just saw the notification that they wanted me to join. I don't understand, Lizzie. I'm a boomer. I don't, I've never used TikTok. I don't know what it means for someone to put... Can someone put me on their broadcast without asking? Like, what, what, what does that entail? I need explanations. I'm a boomer. It's not just our basement. That's our main floor. <laughs> that's how our main floor looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great pick. So thanks. Let me know. Okay. So both Price? of these necklaces only have the one. Not going to have any others. Price? And I have a, a great opportunity on these. Moonstone, by the way, has really gone up in price. Remember, and it's we're on minute forty-nine. Um, we're at the forty-nine minute mark right now. We are at the precise halfway point between Pool and Marsha Pool. It's over for you, buddy. Pool's about to hit the bricks. The original June birth. Month. It's Marsha so, so territory. So for those of us that can't. Yeah, they just sent me this notification that said we want you to broadcast. I didn't even want to broadcast up to, on this person's stream. I am not even friends with them. Weird. So it's sort of like a spam thing. I pff, Just another reason for me never to fuck around with TikTok. All right, Marsha, calm down. Like Ford Alexandrite <laughs> in June. Oh, then it's getting dark outside. Uh, we got some rain coming. Both of them are going to be only $58. Only $58. So if you haven't priced Moonstone lately, then you, you need to because especially the blue Moonstone, um, I saw we had paid for these, and we have had them at least. This was going to be another project, right? Ten, I've had them at least 10 years. At least 10 years. All right. It looks like Sean is so, never going to get to uh, any of this. So let's just forget about this game. And, uh, you know, let's just move on. Enough with this game. I'm, I'm sick of playing it. You know, it's just uh, it's boring. It's uh, monotonous. It's repetitive. Uh, there's really no reason to find out who won. And, uh, oh, hey, what, Marsha? What happened? Is there a problem? What's going on, Marsha? Hay is for horses. Whatever do you mean? <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, Marsha, you win today's round of Guess When Sean Will Fucking Start Selling Something. Congratulations. You are the grand prize winner. Your prize, uh, a piece of debris with some asbestos on it. I dug out of Sean's basement. I think you won. Nobody else bid. You bid 50, right? Or are you doing that whole, did I really, are, are you acting like a Miss America? Like, are you putting your hand to your chest like this and, really me? Don't. Don't test me, Marsha. I'll pull a Steve Harvey on you. I'll be like, I'm sorry. No, it's actually Miss Brazil. I got that wrong. My bad. All right. Uh, you win. You win. Yeah, there's the dollar sign right there. She didn't even know we had them. It's when I rediscovered 58 them. 58 bucks. Then she wants to lay claim to them. And, um, 
All right, we got to move. It's already seven minutes till midnight. We got to get a quick Samir video up. Yay! Teen shamed for being pregnant. Wait, is this girl about to knee a pregnant woman in the baby? Let's make a TikTok video, Dad. This is two days old. Girl dumps boy for crying at the movies. <laughs> well, I guess it depends on the movie, right? I mean, if it's Marley and me, what do you expect them to do? All right. But if it's Schindler's List, well, no, that would make sense too. Where would it not make sense to cry? Uh, God, I don't know. A Pauly Shore movie? I don't know. All right, let's see what happens on this one. Oh, I love it. Right out of the gate, you can hear you can hear snot moving in this guy's sinus cavity right out of the gate. Lovely. Anybody want that like as a ringtone or something? <laughs> hey, buddy. You love Polly Shaw. Oh, you like the poly man. Ugh. Yeah, a lot of range, that poly shore, huh? I tell you what, you talk about range. He's got about as much range as my Fisher Price walkie talkie when I was a kid. Buddy. <laughs> By the way, speaking of wheezing the juice, can somebody get this guy a tissue? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, they're already out of the movie? Why would they just be standing still looking out into the parking lot? Why aren't they walking some? What are they doing? They're out of the movie. He's crying. What are you doing? I want to start it over one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, blast your speakers for this. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Lovely. Oh my God, that was such an amazing movie. Where are we? Where are we? I mean... There are a couple of things behind this glass that look like you could see in a movie theater, but there's also some signs that tell me this ain't no fucking movie theater. I can't believe they had the dog pass away at the end like that. Oh my God, it is Marley and me. <laughs> Everybody cried at Marley and me. All right, check it. I've told this many times when I was in college, actually starting in high school, I, I was working at movie theaters, worked my way up quickly to be a projectionist because fuck working on the ground floor with the people. I want to be upstairs alone with the movies. Anyway, I had that job throughout college and there was a point where it was, uh, yeah, after I moved back from Memphis in like 02, Wait, no, 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 no. Let me take that back. No, no, no. This was when, yeah, the this is back when I moved from D.C. back down to South Carolina. The 2008 economic crash, right? Uh, I got affected. I had to move out of D.C. I couldn't afford to live where I was living. Went back down to South Carolina. Got a job back at the old movie theater I worked at in college. Only worked there for a few months. Oh, wait, no, that was a different movie theater. Forget that. Whatever. I worked at a new movie theater. Marley and me was playing. So this had to have been 2008 or 2009. Marley and me, maybe uh, 2009. Nope, 2008. Okay. So this movie was playing in the brief time I went back to working in a movie theater. I didn't know anything about this movie. I remember looking at the poster and going, no thanks. Owen Wilson, Jennifer Aniston, and a dog. But nobody had any idea that that movie was as ridiculously like, gut-wrenchingly sad as it turned out to be. I, I still haven't seen it. But no, I'm not going to watch a movie where you sit there for 90 minutes or whatever bonding with a dog only to watch it die. Sorry. 
you know, that's that's not escapism for me. Uh, that's anyway. Oh my God, that was such an amazing movie. I can't believe it. Should you get a job at a movie theater? Dead Space, it's no longer cool to work at a theater. Everything's digital now. There's no film. Fucking every movie's either a comic book movie or a reboot or a requel or a prequel or a... I don't know. I mean, they just came out. They're coming out with a new Crow movie. Hey, let's make The Crow again. Hey, let's make Mean Girls again. It's ridiculous. I'm opening up the goddamn movie theater section. Trying to figure out, is there a movie out there worth watching? Let me see. Superhero, 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 remake, 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 superhero, superhero, remake, remake. Wow. Yeah, let me go see a, a, a substandard version of all these movies I grew up watching. Why not? What for? I don't get it. Why are people paying money to see shittier versions of shit that already is out there? And some of these movies are only like 10, 15 years old. Mean Girls? That came out in like, like 05? It's not that old. Jesus Christ. At least when John Carpenter remade The Thing, that was like a 30-year wait. You know what I'm saying? Jeez, I don't know. Whatever. They had the dog pass away at the end. This is the part of the program where I get to just vent, remember? Okay. In like that. Yeah, that's not the only thing I can't believe. What do you mean by that? Nothing. Uh, I gotta go home, so I'll see you later. Okay. Did you not want to go get the frozen yogurt still? Uh, no. I'm Actually, I'm feeling full, so... Shatner turns 93 on Friday. Fantastic. That's just one of those people you just kind of hope figures out a way to never die. I'm just going to head out. Okay, well, I'll park this way. We can go ahead and take off. No, it's okay. I, I'm going to take an Uber. Seriously? Look, you don't... Look, look you cried at a dead dog. I, I, I can't be near you anymore. It's far. It'd be faster if I just drop you off. No, seriously. Are you okay? Why are they having this conversation where they're both, like, facing out and not just... Why aren't they, like, looking at each other? Like... Look, I hate to read more into this, but... It seems like something is bothering you. It's actually kind of, <laughs> kind of obvious. This is our third date and you don't want me to drop. Look, I took you to go see uh, a lot of sad movies, all right? You back off at home? Talk to me, Kelly. What's wrong? Okay, don't cry about it. Calm down. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what? Oh, shit. Look, I'm calm. And honestly, I feel like you being a little rude. I didn't realize that you were so emotional, Edward. <laughs> wow. Don't try dating me then, broad. All right? If you don't like emotions, fucking keep your distance. Get a restraining order. I don't know. You don't want to be anywhere near me. Yeah, go find yourself a nice emotionless fucking NPC of a boyfriend. Enjoy that. Enjoy a nice, safe, boring, unopinionated jamoke. And that's what you want. Okay, look. I'm sorry. I won't pester anymore. I just honestly thought this was going somewhere. Well, I didn't realize that you were a crier. What do you mean, <laughs> Kelly? I saw you crying when the dog passed away at the movie. Yeah, so what? It was sad. I got I guarantee you, any Marley and Me type plot, anywhere in a movie where a dog you get attached to, where the movie's trying to make you feel emotions for a dog, and then the dog dies, you're gonna tear up. If you're not doing it, either you're a terrible person or you're just me. Because I, you know, if, if it's that gimmicky, I'm not gonna cry at a, a dying dog dog movie I, I I've had it lady in the tramp when they get didn't get the dog in the bed cried at the end of Titanic oh don't get me wrong I early me I still cry in movies and early me cried at a lot of stuff the first memorable cry I had was the color purple and yes I grew up in a time where sure Let's send our seven-year-old to watch The Color Purple. Why not? There's nothing traumatic going on in this movie. <laughs>
But yeah, I, I remember it vividly. It's when Oprah Winfrey, you know, she was like such this dynamic personality and then she very rightfully like slapped some white dude for messing around. Then she, they send her to prison or whatever for, for like forever and she comes out like just this beaten down woman barely can talk and she comes to visit her family for Christmas and just uh, that that complete loss of fight that was in her, you know, that I was crying as a seven year old at that. Yeah. Another one's yeah. Um, uh, when Celie's uh, sister comes back at the end and they embrace uh, in the middle of the, the field there. I mean, yeah. How do you not cry? How do you not cry? So yeah, if I had a girlfriend, and we watched The Color Purple, and, and she saw me crying at some of those scenes, and she thought I was, like, you know, too emotional. I'd be like, fine, you're, you're not emotional enough for me. How about that? I'm dumping you. Go find a heart. Got emotion. Did it not touch you? It did, but you're a man. You're not supposed to be crying like some little girl. <laughs> are you serious? Look, first off, you are a girl, which means you're insulting other girls. No, Edward, it's okay for girls to cry. I'm a team not Edward. men, all right? It is a huge turnoff for women. I've never heard that. My mom said it was cute that my dad would cry at the movies when they first met. Oh, oh gross. I mean, <laughs> come from a family? I remember I remember tearing up when, uh, what's her name, Suge? Uh, you know, she's like, uh, what do you call it? Her and her father are... Uh, why do I always forget this word when it's so important considering my relationship with my family? You know, there's a separation there, whatever you call that, when family members sort of, you know, drift apart. But yeah, that scene where she's like at the flop house and she's trying to like out sing the choir in his church and then she comes walking in estranged thank you Marsha I don't know I, my vocabulary is so shitty I know these words sometimes I can't think of them but yeah that's another scene really powerful you know how do you not cry at the color purple all right just to let me know you're human uh JRB give me a give me a give me a movie you did cry in when you were 12 Okay, when I was 12, that's around like when Glory came out. And I cried a lot uh, at the end of Glory. Well, I cried a few times. I, I cried when uh, Denzel got whipped. How do you not? That, that slow zoom in on Denzel's face, sitting there grimacing, but still giving you that eyeball like, you know, you ain't going to get the best of me. That shit is fucking hard, man. And uh, that final scene, that final charge into the fort, the music, just the putting the life on the line. God damn, I, I get upset thinking about it because they wrap it up at the end. They put these bodies in the pit. They throw Matthew Broderick down in the pit and then it shows him close up and then falling into frame is Denzel's body on top of Matthew Broderick's body. And you see the whole point of the Civil War. And I'm crying now, okay? <laughs> yeah, so, hey, lady, in this video, fuck you. I'm an emotional guy. I can sit here and just think about a scene from a movie, and I'm losing it, man. That's what good movies do, okay? They tap into your emotions. They make you feel human. And you're going to fucking give someone shit for that? And go, you know, go pound sand, okay? We have crying men. <laughs> Please do not insult my family, Kelly. Oh, whatever. And don't compare me to your mother. You're clearly a, a crybaby mama's boy, all right? It is so gross. Who brings up Why are we still here? This is the part of the thing where it's like, okay, uh, bye. I'm gross? And get out of here. Steve, you should watch the Darman episode with the NBA superstar who apparently shall remain nameless. Are you, are you trying to keep it a surprise? ...up their mother and their date in the same sentence. Ugh. Oh, wow. I, that is truly a turnoff, Edward. That's a tear. Seriously, Kelly? 
That is I a tear. You were different. You wow. Seem so sweet. I'm surprised to hear this coming from you. I just don't know where this is coming from. Oh, shut it, Edward. Are you even listening to yourself? You sound like a little girl right now. Seriously. I mean, these new age type men, you're all just cowards. And I. Cowards, really? Yeah, let me tell you what it's like to be a man in modern society and actually display emotions. You know what happens? You find women like this who give you shit. And then you also have to deal with your fellow male friends who uh, shit on you because, hey, man, what's your fucking problem? Buck up. It ain't easy out there for us emotional men, okay? We don't really have uh, a support group. We're just out there doing our thing. And it ain't easy. I'm just saying. Thought you were so different. I mean, you're so macho. But it turns out you're just such a sissy. I want a man, a real man, a macho man. Oh, yeah. Snap into a Slim Jim. And not some little girl that can't even protect me. I Why are they still talking? Don't know what having compassion for a dog and getting tears has to do with protection. That's your problem, Edward. Why don't you go date your mom, mama's boy, okay? Now leave me alone before I get a real man to drag you away. <laughs> uh, if she's turning to walk, uh, end of story. Goodbye. Whoa, Kelly. You walking through Skid Row. That's not safe. <laughs> okay, this is now the stupidest line in a script of any of these videos I've ever seen. What do you mean you're walking to death? She's in a strip mall. She has one choice. Turn right when you get here for more shops. What do you mean you're walking into the fucking hood? What? Whoa, Kelly. You're walking through Skid Row. That's not safe. <laughs> like you'd be able to protect me? I'm stronger than you, so don't worry. I can protect myself, little girl. She's in, in an enclosed... By the way, what is this? What's that say? The Tickler? What kind of movie theater is this? The French Tickler? Okay, no, all right. Now, now I I do think it's a it's a silly. He did cry. If he cried like in a in a porn theater, that's a little that's a different story. It's ridiculous. Uh, I second that. A oh, rockler, rockler, rockler. Okay, let's look this up. Uh, I want to go to the rockler movie theater. Where do I go? I know, I gotta get out of here. Boy, it is dark outside. I got a feeling, even if I wanted to go somewhere today, it ain't gonna happen. Where's the Rockler? Did you mean Rockland? There's no Rockler movie theater. It's not a theater. I don't know what it is. Uh-oh. There is no way neither of them noticed a pink wallet on the floor between them. Or on the ground, I guess I should say. So now she's walking into quote-unquote skid row without her pink wallet. Oh, she's in trouble. She, Uh-oh. Discord activity. What's shaking? Dead space popping in. Can anyone... Can everyone come say hi to Wilson after the stream, even for just a few minutes? I can try. How close is he to 100K? Mr. Wilson, folks. Working hard to get there. It's already 12 after. All right, let's try to uh, wrap things up. I'm actually going to close Sean up as well. We still got half of this to go, but it's only four minutes. She's going to need this. How awkward. Hi. Yeah, all right. So that's where the question comes in like how did you get here are you almost here where did you park oh okay 
I'll see you there. I'll be right there, so wait for me. <laughs> Look how tall this guy is. She would have seen him way back over here. She's still oblivious? Hey. Still oblivious. Hey, sweetie, look good. No, okay. Hey, sweetie, looking good. As you do. Hey, what's going on, Dick Man Dolvin Bode? Deutschven Bode. Dick Man Deutschven Bode? Deutschven Bode? Deutsch. Deutsch or Deutsch? Deutsch? God damn, that's a mouthful, Dick. Wait a minute, that didn't come out right. Let me uh, let me retract that last statement. Hey, it's good to have you though, Dick. Wait, that still sounds. I'm glad we have Dick here. God, I can't think of a way to say this. Welcome, Dick. Uh, I like to see you, Dick. Uh, oh, shit. I like having Dick around. No, uh, it's a good thing I've got Dick here. There's no way. Can I call you Richard by any chance? Do you mind? I don't know. You're fine, Dick. How you doing? <laughs> <I didn't... laughs> there you go, Lizzie. There, take that. T take that uh, bit over for me, will you? Good. Where are you headed, <laughs> Marsh? <laughs> I love it. I love it when the ladies get dirty because that gives me license to get dirty too. I don't feel any shame. Make all the dick jokes you want. Not a dick's expense, of course. You, you spell it like dive? You mean like you pronounce it like diving board? Oh, like diving board? Almost? Dick? Can I just call you Dick Van Diving Board? Because that's the coolest fucking name ever. I, I don't mean to insult your actual name, but a nickname like Dick Van Diving Board would be ranking up there for the best nicknames of all time. Yeah, I think I remember Dick. Uh, the van is a pretty good giveaway that you're uh, Dutch. Uh, great. Dick Van Diving Board is on board. Ch true dick. True dat. <laughs> hey, hey, Dick, uh, you got here kind of at the end of the show. I don't know. I'm, I've been giving, I've been going over time because I kind of flaked out on Sunday night. So, folks, you don't have to go home, but you don't have to stay here either. So, we'll just hang out for a bit. Love the Dutch. I love the Dutch, too. Thanks. Um, I don't need anything. You sure? Looks like you need a real man. Looks like you need a little Dick Van Diving Board, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I do, but you're not him. Uh Look at Marsha. Look at Marsha trying to guilt me. Marsha is basically saying I'm expecting at least one more video after this. I could be. Why don't you come <laughs> talk to me, sweetie? No, I don't want to, okay? So please stop following me. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. I'm out here all alone in the middle of this no, parking lot. I don't want to. Where there's clearly someone okay, right so there. There's stuff ever. We just found the one place that kind of looks like abandoned, even though it's clearly not. Stop following me. I don't know. That's a lot of shape to follow. And I'm definitely not one to take no for an answer. Look, sir. It's Albert. Albert. Okay, look. I am not interested in your, in you, okay? So please stop following me. You didn't tell me your name, sweetie. Hey. Ew, uh, okay, you've committed a crime. You've committed a crime now. That's, that's crime. There's a crime. Hello? White lady crime. Uh, there should be like a two-minute police response. It's a white lady crime. Come on. Hey, you are crossing the line. Back up. Okay, I will use this. I'm serious. Feisty one, huh? I'll I've never seen someone stick their face into the mace. Okay, I will use this. I'm serious. <laughs> that music. He's looking at like it's uh, one of those things from fucking Men in Black. Erases memory. Feisty one, huh? I like that. And with all that jewelry on, this means that you're rich. Back up, I said.
Is that even mace? Is that, is that like some Febreze? That appeared to have about as much of an impact as Febreze. Pepper spray? You think they're gonna work on these bad boys? I told you, you need a real man. Ain't nothing gonna bring tears to these eyes. <laughs> Acting. Get over here, sweetie. Get off of me, you pig! Hey, no! shut up! Oh, Nobody's no! gonna hear you. Oh, yeah. don't don't back her into that. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a tour of my cardboard box. No, Ah, a biter. Yeah, hey. I like that. Oh. Hey, let her go, coward. Let her go, coward? That is the last word you would use following let her go. Let her go any expletive you want. Let her go, you piece of... Hey, mother effer, let her go. Let her go, coward? The fuck are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. Where is the punch? Oh my dude. His arm just disappears from one frame to the next. And I don't mean disappear like That was more of a, a haymaker, right? That was a You jerk. I would have shared her. Ew. Well, you clearly haven't seen Marley and me. Hey, hey, you know. He seems to have that invisible punch. Yeah, he seems to throw it. And somehow he goes falling. Oh, you're hurting me. You're breaking my arm, man. Please don't break my Apologize arm. Apologize to the lady. Apologize. Sorry. Please. Apologize. Please. I'm sorry. Please don't break my arm. Please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, when did this turn into American History X? That is the worst. Look at him just kick nowhere near his face. Jesus Christ. Hey, you want a man to help you up? Please offer your hand, and when she goes to grab it, go like this. That's right. Are you, are you a okay? real man? You're a real man now. Well, look, I just wanted to return this. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. I'll call the cops on this creek. You take care. Yeah, she's going to be playing him like a trumpet, if you know what I mean. Strength isn't always loud. It's found in fun. Why did you just walk away? I mean, a crime was just committed here. The criminal is on the ground. Yeah, he might be passed out. He might be awake in a minute. She's still there. You left. Hello. Vulnerability, compassion, and the courage to stand up for others. True strength isn't afraid to shed a tear and sometimes those tears can save a life strength beyond traditional stereotypes showcasing the transformative <laughs> power of vulnerability and authenticity in unexpected situations kelly never heard back from edward despite numerous phone calls facebook messages instagram messages and fax messages edward found fax messages fax Decade am I watching here? Calls, Facebook messages, Instagram messages, and fax messages. Edward found himself a nice girl that respected him. She would she wouldn't answer any of his Western Union telegrams. For him and could share emotional moments filled with joy and tears. That 
It's so nice to see everything happen a second time in black and white. I truly hope you enjoyed today's video. Remember Hi, and welcome to Blue's Clues. Remember to check out my daughter's new YouTube channel. It's so much fun to make and even more fun to watch. Click the link above or the link in the description. No, and thank you. On the top of the comment. I've had enough nightmare fuel for one day, sir. Thank you very much. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up. Hope to see you there. And remember Holy to subscribe. Shit. Unfortunately, you can't comment. Meg, I'm sure you're not exploiting your children in any way, shape, or form, sir. I'm sure it's all ethically sound. Okay. Well, wow, look how dark it is. I ain't, I ain't kidding, guys. How, how, how often am I looking this dark? At 11:30 in the morning, with this, you know, with the curtains open, I can't even get this left clicked. Okay, there we go. Wow, look at me in the darkness. Come into the dark. I am the gatekeeper. I rule this game. I was explaining to my nine-year-old niece what a rotary phone was and how hard it was to text back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Oh, yeah. Those years where you had to sit there and, like, if you wanted the letter L, you had to hit, like, the number six three times and all that shit. Or if you wanted to use the same letter twice in a row, you had to wait for, like, three seconds for the fucking, you know, the cursor or whatever to go, oh, okay. It wants to just add a second one of these. Le I, God. Take a 38 minutes to say, yeah, I'll meet you at 5 p.m. Just awful. I told her I had a pager and I would call my mom on a pay phone. Nice. Yeah, it's very dark and we need rain. So let's hope it's not just going to hover over for the whole day and then just go away. Because I'm telling you right now, pretty sure it's the reason why my sinuses have been really shitty for like three straight weeks. When it gets to the point where we haven't had any rainfall, but the cloud cover comes in and the humidity builds and there's that high pressure and it's just you can feel the weight of the air. I'm telling you right now, it messes up my face like nothing else. <sighs> right. So let's hope that. Uh, plus, I had a crying fit earlier talking about the movie Glory. God, I look, I don't care. Hey, men, cry, for God's sakes. If it feel like crying, do it. I mean, there's some situations where it makes sense to try and hold back, you know? You do want to consider other people. But if you're going to a goddamn movie about a goddamn dog dying, I don't know how I'm supposed to come out of an up tempo record and watch a movie about a goddamn dog dying, and you don't want me to cry? Ponderous, man. It's fucking ponderous. It's ponderous. I'm telling you, give me these goddamn up-tempo records. And you want me to talk about a goddamn dog dying? Glory is amazing. My dad cries at the baseball movie. If you build it, you will come. Yeah, Field of Dreams. Field of Dreams. That movie was made to uh, pull at your emotions, especially as, as a man. Um, yeah. I mean, you're talking about a father and son who are estranged. Baseball used to be what they bonded with. Then it sort of broke them apart. And then you build this field. You don't know why. You get the big reveal. You kind of get an allegory for what heaven is. I mean, it's a beautiful fucking movie. And it should have won Best Picture that year. Sorry, Driving Miss Daisy. But you're not that good. Tandy, give her an Oscar. Fine. She's 127 years old. I get it, but come on. Best picture? We wound up giving the same damn plot best picture like 25 years later with that uh, green, uh, what was that movie? Green, uh, not Green Mile. I don't know, the one with uh, Viggo Mortensen and uh, what's-his-face from, uh, what's what's it called? Whatever. That's basically driving Miss Daisy. You know, race relations in the 50s. Driving around. Yeah, Green Book. You know what I'm saying? I know it's not the same, but it's the same. Come on. Mm. 
Oh, now Green Room. Green Room is a great movie. Uh, it's got Patrick Stewart in it. So if you want to say, Steve, I don't want you to give me any of your weird movie suggestions. Look, it's got Patrick Stewart. Sir Patrick Stewart is in the movie. Go look for Green Room. Small, low-budget movie. Uh, oof. Rough. Ooh, that was that's a tough one. Green Mile makes me cry. I, I when I first saw Green Mile in the theater, I did not cry. I, I guess I kind of got choked up, but I actually that first time on watching when the whole movie like transitioned into the supernatural, I guess I just wasn't mentally prepared for it. And I don't know, it kind of I don't know. I was going with the movie up until then and then. But, you know, on rewatch, I give it more credit than I did. Now, Green Inferno, that's trash. That's, uh, that's uh, what's his face? Uh, uh, Eli Roth, right? That's an Eli Roth joint. Uh, cannibalism on some uh, remote island somewhere. That's another interesting one. What are some other green movies? Uh, what about Green Day? Anybody a fan? Do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? I am one of those melodramatic fools, neurotic to the bone, no doubt about it. Uh, nobody cares about Green Lantern. Did anybody watch that? Are you talking about the Seth Rogen one? Did anybody see it? Sometimes I give myself the creeps. Hey, if I'm going to get a compliment. Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me. It all keeps adding up. I think I'm cracking up. Am I just paranoid? Am I just... Uh, Oh, Green Lantern, Green Hornet. Right, Seth Rogen, Green Hornet. What was Green Lantern? I don't eat. Who played the Green Lantern in a movie? This is a 21st century thing? How about Green? How about Green with Envy? Is that a movie? How about Gang Green? No, that, that Reynolds... Oh, Ryan Reynolds, right, 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 was the Green uh, Lantern. Wow, that really did just, God, I, he hates that movie. Well, but then he goes and does something like, what was that one where he's like in a video game? People say they like it, but it was just, it was just fluff. Look, I like Ryan Reynolds' as Deadpool. It fits his personality well. It's a nice, refreshing change of pace from your typical superhero movie. But after like three Deadpool movies, I'm even done with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I like is the movie Waiting. You guys ever see Waiting back when Ryan Reynolds was like in his like Van Wilder years? Yeah, I think Dane Cook might have been in Waiting. But yeah, Waiting has got a pretty decent ensemble cast. It's basically a day in the life of a restaurant. Young adults, you know fucking around it's a good movie it's funny that's that's ryan reynolds for me dane cook who has the same birthday as me lizzie i don't know if i'd be bragging about that first of all no one no no one under the age of 33 at this point knows who dane cook is as big as he was what 18 years ago he's just as he's just as obscure now Showing their sacks. Man, talk about right place, right time. Dane Cook and MySpace. How about that? That's why I try to get on that Squabbler website. I'm like, I'm going to be the uh, Ashton Kutcher of Squabbler. I'm getting in on the ground floor. That site stinks. Andy Milanakis, yes. Uh, kind of a character actor. You see him in some comedies. I'm trying to think of uh, what I've seen him in. Isn't he kind of a, a chubby guy that looks a lot younger than he really is? He's got that uh, weird condition where you look perpetually young. That sound right, Lizzie? I used to watch him on Twitch, and he did a lot of 
in real life stuff and played games. Yeah, he has a disorder. Yeah, it's some sort of uh, it's like progeria, but sort of the opposite. I don't know, something like that. All right, at this point, I'm just kind of hanging out and having a conversation with whoever's still hanging out here. How many people are still watching this? Seven. Hey, the likes got over. Got the 12 anyway. Eh, look at this. All right, guys, this is why I need to go. You see this? This is called petering out. I am petering out. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I did have a little bit of a comeback. All right, but now it's really petering out. Okay. Uh, oh, thank you, Lizzie. It only took two and a half hours of entertainment to get that out of you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm just busting your balls. All right, listen, uh, if you're watching this later, first of all, hi, I'm in the dark. Sorry. Uh, there's, there's a storm a brewing. Uh, but yeah, go ahead. Uh, I got, I gotta think if you got this far into the thing, if you're listening to my voice at this stage of the uh, video, you know, you liked what you saw. So if you haven't subscribed, let me plead, sub it up. Come on. I gotta get this channel off the fucking ground, man. I'm like one of the Wright brothers before Kitty Hawk. I'm sure. They went through a lot of trial and error. Must have been annoying. Anyway, I don't know. This channel is probably going the way of the Hindenburg, if anything. Yeah, what Lizzie said. Okay? Uh, do that and also leave a comment down below if you're in the mood. Guys, wow. Thanks for uh, tolerating my, uh, you know, unprofessional behavior today. Leaving the stream to go get something to eat. And, uh, you know... Oh, God. Ah. Oh, I can tell. Oh, I'm going to. God. So, yeah, I was up late. Then I got up. So I slept about six hours. I could probably take a nap. If it's going to be weather like this, I'm going back to bed, man. It's fucking dark. All right, guys. Remember, this is Steve. I hear you. I see you. And I'll be back again tomorrow night. All right. All right. That's it for me. Bye.